his purity as a racer. He he was cantankerous. He was kind of his own worst enemy, but he was absolutely sublime and brilliant behind the wheel. Um, he could also build any car. He, he saw himself first and foremost as a mechanic. Um, and he was just brutally honest, you know. He didn't suffer fools at all. Uh, and uh, Shelby knew he was the best man for the job and he proved it. There's a wealth of information that you get when uh, it's a real character, you know, because you're, you're freed up from thinking that you might be making choices that uh, could be construed as egotistical, you know, or trying to, you know, do things that aren't, that aren't necessarily the best for the film. But when, when, you, when you have a character that's real, you have the mannerisms, you have everything, these eccentricities that are they're there for all to see so you go to the director and you go look that's what he did you know and it gives you that extra confidence i actually enjoy it a lot playing real characters it's just a thing of uh, triumph of misfits it's a thing of sort of overcoming corporate politics the necessity of the sort of goliath the Ford and the money, I mean, these men could not have done it, just as most artists can't without some benefactor. But also then the conflict within that of achieving it in spite of, you know, uh, Ford. And, uh, and they challenged God in the, in, the, in the guise of Enzo Ferrari and they won. And these were sort of, they would have been voted the least likely to succeed guys, you know, a bunch of uh, eccentrics, uh, uh, gearheads, um, and uh, it's just a delightful story and exciting, poignant, really moving um, and just, uh, you know, gives me goosebumps every time I see it.